hello everyone this is Chrissy dreams back with another video so I'm gonna watch this video and I'm gonna give my commentary on it after it's done so guys let's watch this and I'm gonna see how I feel about the whole thing so let me read the title man suspected of killing four and fight over stimulus check Craig Jackson says that he was waiting on a food delivery late Saturday night when he heard a knock on his door. I was sitting right here in my chair. I heard a loud bang of the door, bam, 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 bam. I guess so. She, uh, I said, who is it? She said, can you help me? I've been shot. Her family says it was Janetrius Moore. She had been shot by Malik Halfacre. She said, her baby daddy shot her, uh, and he shot her. He shot her, her mother, and the kids. She said she's the only person who, uh, who got away. While they waited for help to arrive, Jackson tried to keep more conscious by talking to her. I said, uh, why did he shoot you? And has that word stimulus money? He was in disbelief that Halfacre would kill four people and injure another over a stimulus check. Has that word I'm the only one who got away. He killed the rest of them. Words. The people killed in the shooting have been identified as Anthony Johnson, Daquan Moore, Eve Moore, and Tamika Brown. Moore told Jackson after the shooting, Halfacre was chasing her. She was, she was frantic. She was, she was hysterical. She was, she was in pain. Jackson said a pickup truck drove around the block slowly three times while they were waiting, but he couldn't see who was inside. She kept on saying, please help me, please help me, please help me. And I told her, I said, uh, uh, please run away, please run away. Okay, so, thank God she survived. She did survive. But the people that got shot was her mom, her brother, her cousin, and her daughter. Now, the daughter that he shot, it was not his kid. It was, that kid was by another man. He had taken his other kid that belonged to him biologically. He kidnapped her and took her to, I think, his sister's house. But she was finally found safe, thank God. But all of this over stimulus check. See, that's what I was telling you guys before. And y'all be thinking I'm, I be talking crazy. But this is why they, they throw this money at you guys. They know you guys are already crazy about this COVID thing. And a lot of people still ain't went back to work. So here with this guy now... They saying that he wasn't even working. He was just sitting on his behind. He wasn't doing nothing. And he asked her because, you know, you get the uh, 1400 And then they're supposed to give you 1400 for each dependent. So he probably was thinking, like, you know, she, she ain't going to bug out. I'm just asking her. Somebody said that he asked her for $700. You know, she just bugging out or whatever. Um so he wanted the seven hundred dollars he was like just give me half i want half of it so, because he was probably thinking well you getting 14 you getting 1400 two more times for them other kids so just let me get 700 man but she told him she was like look she said you ain't doing nothing you know i'm taking care of all this I'm I'm using this money to take care of your kid and my kid on top of that. And I'm sitting here taking care of you. I'm not giving you my money. And she had every right to say no. But what I would have did is, you know what? Knowing how crazy he was, and I'm sure she knew how crazy he was. You know what? I would have gave him the $700 and then I would have left. I would have been trying to get me a new apartment. He, he wouldn't have found out where I was going. I would have been trying to get me a new apartment and everything. And I would have just got out of there because this is just ridiculous. And that's why I tell them, uh, them people about throwing this stimulus check money. You ain't doing nothing but but look look at this this man killed four people over that stimulus check the, the the government know what they doing when they throw that stimulus check at people it's it's the they they say it's to help us but really it's to hurt us because they know that people gonna go crazy they even had a mexican guy um uh, i heard a story about a mexican guy that tried to kill his wife over the freaking stimulus check so th the whole thing is crazy and then you're gonna kill the seven-year-old you're gonna kill a little baby like come on this is ridiculous
for a stimulus check and you it, it, it's crazy because god he wasn't even helping out he was he was doing absolutely nothing he was sitting on his behind and she was tired of it she was like no you're not getting none of this money you know she did say that she was gonna give him 450 and he's lucky she even offered that because i for real i want to offer him crap i would have been like look man if i knew how crazy he was i would have gave him the 700 like i said i would have left you know i would have left in the middle of the night and i would have just left his broke behind because that's what he is broke poor and pathetic i mean broke busted and disgusted like this this is just this whole situation is terrible you're gonna kill her over a freaking stimulus check and you ain't doing nothing you ain't putting in on nothing you ain't buying no groceries you're not you're not contributing to the house and you think that she's supposed to give you half of it and it's crazy because she offered you some money she offered you 450 dollars. you know how many men would have took that 450 and made it work they could have took that 450 he could have took that 450 if he was smart which we already know he's he's not but he could have invested that in something he could have invested that in stocks and grew that money and then gave her back some of the money but just to kill people over this and i would definitely have never did this argument in front of my friends and in front of my family i would have told my family i'd be like look y'all y'all got to leave because i got to settle this with him i don't want y'all y'all know how crazy he can get i just i want y'all to be away from here just in case he does something crazy i don't want y'all to be a part of it but this is crazy four people lost their life over freaking stimulus check and, and they know they know this government they really know how to do it because joe biden he up he up the uh the um the child credit he knew what he was doing it wasn't a help y'all it, it was so stuff like this would happen they know stuff like this is gonna happen you giving you just throwing people money and, and you're not even just, just throwing people money that's not helping us that's not helping people it just throw us money you if you're gonna just if you're gonna throw us money at least set us up with with a a, a budget manager or something they could have came out with free classes for budgeting our money you think they did that no that would have been a great idea you showing us all this money well get us in a, and get us in some type of class where we can invest our money and we can make it grow and guys i'm already doing this i'm already investing my money in a great company if you are interested in it i would definitely let you know just comment down below i'm interested or i'm in and i would definitely let you know what to do with them stimulus checks because just throwing people money that's not helping they know that everybody gonna go out and spend their money because they don't have no budgeting they don't have no kind of budgeting classes for people they don't have no kind of stuff for people to go to invest their money but i'm here to help you guys i'm not just gonna tell you guys to go out and, and just spend all this money this is a time to get that money and invest it and that's exactly what i'm gonna do what me and my husband have been doing and what i want exactly you guys to start doing because you're not gonna get no more stuff see this is what people think they're gonna get more stimulus money after that money run out it, they're not doing that no more they they already on to the game that you got a lot of people don't care they will use the system as long as they can but it's not it's not a time for that it is time for us to get wealthy it's time for us to get residual income generational wealth for our kids and our family so if you're interested i will let you know about that but this whole situation it, it just completely it made me so sad because this didn't have to happen it made me so sad this did not have to happen this did not have to happen if he was a real man and you know he was real responsible he would have did the right thing and he would have been helping this lady you know take care of home and take care of the responsibilities that both of them have together but he did absolutely nothing he wasn't doing nothing and then he had the audacity to ask her for half of her stimulus check i mean this is crazy so guys just comment down below how you guys feel about this whole situation you know i do send my deepest condolences to the family because i know i know the family is just i know they're going 